Oh, that's nice looking. Oh, that's the one I like. Hello everybody, I'm uh, J.P. Suter, I'm agent for Krista Carrigan, and I'm doing the picks today for the Puss in Boots and uh, for the Andy Passero of the Cup. Uh, Krista rides uh, Gator Spy in the Puss in Boots, uh, he's one of the favorites. I think it's going to be a horse that comes from behind, which he is one of those, and there's lots of speed in there. And then uh, the Cup for the girls, I, the sprint, I, I ride accolades galore for Paula Losher. And uh, I think she's one of the top three probably in the, in the odds. And I'm um, hoping she's the one. She comes from behind a little bit too, where there's lots of speed in there too. Both have 12 horse fields. Uh, I think in the Puss in Boots, it's, uh, there's going to be a horse that comes from behind. I'm sure hoping it's Gators High. And uh, in the other race, uh, I think it's, it's going to be another one that comes from behind, which could be Accolades Galore, I'm hoping. I think. Uh, in the, in the Puss in Boots, it would would be, uh, or the cup would be Bella Fabiana, Cotty Wample, and Accolades Galore, I would think would be the top three somewhere around there. And uh, nice two 12-horse fields for the cup at Fort Erie, and hoping to have a great day, and i wishing everybody good luck. What are you giving me the Oh, we're on. I, oh, I didn't see you there. I just got off the airplane. And I, wow, I kept this on all the way to Fort Erie, but I, I, I got a pick for you, for the Puss in Boots. Now, my friend Mike Blake, he always has a horse in there. I'm assuming Mike's, Mike's going to be really competitive, but I, I can't root for him because I'm concerned about his swimming ability. So, so I'm going to have to go with the number three. I'm going to go with the number three horse. He's a guaranteed winner. It's not like I'm doing this on Prince of Wales Day. It's not like I'm, you know, I know this. I've studied this race. It's the number three, easy. It's, you can go to bed on it. I'm doing my picks for the Puss in Boots Cup, and I'm going with Gator Spy as he's undefeated on the Cordary Turf. And my pick for the Andy Pissero Memorial Cup is Accolades Galore, who pulled a big number last time. And then I think Cuddy Wample's going to be there for a piece after sitting a good trip. Okay, so Puss in Boots, uh, this year I'm going to take. Uh, Let's go with, uh, blah, 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 blah. let's see, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, pool player. Sonny Singh, this horse galloped last week, trying to grass, and uh, why not? Second choice, Drina's bullet, maybe to take him a long way. In the Andy Pissero, some more value plays. Uh, we will go with, and the crowd goes wild for the Blake boys. Uh, been finishing with some interest, and been improving on the grass on the dirt. He was on the grass last time. Interested in that horse and uh, accolades galore. Won by many lengths in the last two. Improving young horse. Handles the dirt well. A couple long shot plays. Now one for Paula Losher in the two cup races for 2019. Here's Julia. Uh, for the Andy Pissero Memorial Cup, I'm going to go on the turf and uh, he's been just overmatched at Woodbine so he's going to probably be around you know, 6 to 1 in there and he's got a good shot. That is a wide open race of course. Alright, so now in the Annie Pissero, there's a lot of speed from Surf Edge, Auntie Catherine and about a girl might show a lot of speed as well. So this is up well for a closer and the crowd goes well. It's finished with interest in her last couple starts and she could uh, definitely make a move in there. Um, Tickety Boo is probably going to be the favorite. She won a starter allowance. Uh, wasn't against the toughest. Of course, those horses are also in the cup race, but I just don't think that it was most impressive. And you can see a horse that just broke their conditions stepping up to take the Andy Pissero this year, like in the crowd as well. My picks for the Puss and Boot is Renee Karen Skater Spy. And my pick for the Andy Pissero will be Tickety Boo. Her last race was a very impressive win. Peanuts picks for the Andy Pissero are her baby sister. Hi, I'm Michael Blake, and I've got these are my picks for the Andy Pissero Cup. Um, I'm going to go with two fillies that are both coming off a turf race to prep for the dirt race. 
uh, turf dinner angle. Gotta love it. Um, I'm gonna go with this filly right here, and the crowd goes wild. Uh, her only two dirt races, she won very easily. In hand, we've been trying to get her back on the dirt, and when that failed, we uh, kind of used that turf sprint as a little work to uh, get her ready for this one. So hopefully, our uh, our plans worked out well, and um, she uh, wins the race. And um, if she doesn't win, I think Bella Fabiana, uh, Richard Davis's horse, will be will be tough. She's been facing tougher competition and um, likes the dirt. And she's coming out of that same race. It was a very tough turf sprint. Um, so I mean, she's been facing probably tougher horses than the rest of these this year. So. Um, those are my picks. Uh, tough to say what's going to happen in the Puss and Boots with the pending rain. So, um, uh, if it stays on, Gator Spy, I guess. Good luck. Okay, here are my two picks for the two cup races on Sunday. We'll start with the Puss and Boots. We're going to take uh, Selling Out. These are two horses that I one I claimed and one I got out shook for. So I believe in both of them. Selling Out, my horse. Uh, coming off a big race up at Woodbine, um, he should get the distance no problem. So he is definitely my pick, obviously. And the other one for my exactor is Tinkering. Uh, Willie Armada outshook me last year before I claimed selling out, so I have to believe in that horse. For the Andy Passero, uh, we're going to go with Tickety Boo. I think he's uh, she's a lock in, in this spot. And my uh, other half of the exactor is Bella Fabiano. Uh, for Richard Davis, one of the best trainers in the world. Okay, those are my picks for the Puss in Boots and the Andy Passero. Good luck to everybody. Okay, guys, here's my picks for the Puss in Boots here. I got on good authority that Rebel Music is the best turf horse on the grounds. And that's coming right from Colin Rankin. Sorry, Colin, I ain't picking you, though. I'm going with selling out Mr. Shadobiak. And for the exactor, I'm going to throw in Gator Spy. So if you want a box, I think you make a little bit of money there. And in the Phillies race, I think we got to go with uh, Accolades Galore. Paul, I think, got a nice claim there. If this horse wins, should be claim of the year. But now she's a little tougher. No condition races, but we'll see how good she is. But that's my pick for there. Good luck. This is Rebel Music. I'm Colin Rankin. We're getting ready for the 2019 edition of the Puss and Boots. We're hoping to run really well. He's been doing good all year, and we're hoping to jump in the pond. Oh, I gotta swear, sorry. Your choice, and you can pick Butterfly Strike. Stop filming. Your choice, and you can pick Butterfly Strike. Stop filming. Lifetime high buyer last time.